The thought of losing your dog is the scariest thing for any canine lover. But there are symptoms you can look out for to know when something is wrong, to prevent anything chronic. Signs such as slowed respiration, weight loss, or your pooch has been very tired lately. Stay with me, and I will show you 12 symptoms that could cost your dog its life. <coughs> loss of coordination has your pooch been wobbling, or does she sway, drift, stagger, or use a wide stance to keep upright? These are signs your dog is disoriented and can't control and can't direct his limbs toward the direction he wants to go. It's a symptom that should be taken seriously because if ignored, it can be deadly or leave a permanent dent on your pet. Your furry friend's lack of balance can result from a condition known as ataxia. This is a problem relating to a sensory dysfunction that results in a loss of coordination in the rear end, head, or limbs. Some cases of ataxia can't be cured, which only leaves these dogs unable to walk and may eventually result in euthanasia. Other serious causes include stroke, head trauma, a brain tumor, or brain inflammation. Extreme Fatigue Canines have a lot of energy. How else do you explain those zoomies, wall bouncing, or the happiness when you've just gotten home? And it's also one of the reasons they earn the nickname, man's best friend, because there are no dull moments when a dog is around. It's also why they are highly recommended for animal-assisted therapy. So, if your furry friend seems more tired than usual, then it's a cause for worry. Research has shown that a mutt's lethargy is most likely an indication of various illnesses. Call or take your buddy to the vet when you notice a sudden change in his routine. This could be caused by a bacterial or viral infection, anemia, or even heart disease. Extreme fatigue is a cry for help that should be heeded immediately. Inability to get comfortable Comfort is alien to a pooch that is in pain. This may be because when she settles down, she has to rest on those parts that are hurting her. Also, canines always circle the spot before lying down. But when in discomfort, they will circle the area longer than usual. And after eventually lying down, they won't take long before getting up again. Restlessness is a major trait of a hound in distress. If you find your fluffy friend lying in different spots in a short space of time and still not settling for one, it's a signal that she is in pain. Your pet might be suffering from joint pain, anxiety, or some serious medical issue like dementia. This would also affect your buddy's sleeping pattern, as she can't pick a spot to sleep. So, do not spare a second before getting her the help she needs. Disinterested in things he once enjoyed By having a routine, Fido knows what time to expect certain activities. This is why you might see your pet bring you his toy when it's time to play. A dog that suddenly does not want to play or go for walks is passing a message that something is wrong. Yes, there would be times when your animal friend just wants a break either for a day or two. However, if this disinterest in things he once enjoyed continues for some time, you might have a bigger problem on your hands. It could mean the pooch has a dental problem, so he doesn't want to pick up the toy with his mouth as it hurts. Other times, your dog's extreme weight might be the reason it doesn't want to run around. As in humans, dogs should not be obese. This only puts your pooch at risk for many medical health issues, some of which could be detrimental to your pup's health. Loss of Consciousness This is perhaps the scariest symptom for every canine lover that something is wrong with your pooch. Imagine taking a walk with your pooch and then she faints out of the blue. Terrifying, isn't it? Trust me, if that happens, I'm not going back home. I'm taking my dog to the vet immediately. There are several issues that could be responsible for a canine's loss of consciousness. If you can, take a video as it will make it easy for the doctor to differentiate between the two causes. It could be just because your pet is having a seizure and other times she might have just fainted. Your furry friend might pass out because of a neurological problem, low blood sugar, or severe heart disease. Also, bear in mind that for canines, fainting and collapsing means two different things. Fido might collapse and still be conscious but unable to get up. This will help you when explaining the situation to your vet. No longer drinking water. For dogs, the most important thing for their nutrition is not human food or even their dog food. What's most important for their diet is water. The amount of water your fur baby needs is determined by their weight. In some cases, some mutts will drink more if they're pregnant or if it's a young puppy. Your pooch might not be drinking any water because of a bladder or urinary tract infection. 
or it can also be because of a kidney disease. Also, remember that water is the important thing for your dog's nutrition, and a lack of it can cause various issues that can be life-threatening for your pet. Isolation Socialization is very important for canines. It teaches your dog how to react to the world around it healthily, without unnecessary fear or aggression. This would help your furry friend get along well with humans and other animals. It's also why some animal experts recommend walks and taking your pet to the park. A well-socialized dog that suddenly becomes withdrawn is probably dealing with some health issues, and socialization is not only important for their development, it's something they love to do. Canines never get tired of spending time with their owners. Instead, they don't want to be away from you at all. Yes, there would be the odd moments when your pooch wants to be alone, but when it goes on for too long, then something isn't right. However, if you own a chihuahua, as I do, then those cute little charismatic things can hold grudges for days and months. Our animal friends hide when they are having any medical issues because they don't want you to see them in pain. A desire to be closer to you. While some dogs isolate themselves when they are ill, others do the opposite. They become extra clingy. Now, this can be very confusing if you have a pet that already follows you around. And how do you also differentiate if the reason your four-legged friend doesn't want to leave your side is that she suffers from separation anxiety? An anxious dog will bark, howl, or just become restless when you have to leave. While others chew on objects, door frames, or window sills, dig at doors and doorways after you have left, but an ill canine becomes clingier because it is looking to its owner for comfort. You can also know if your hound is unwell and not anxious, if she is not only needy, but also showing any of the other signs mentioned in this video. Slowed respiration. This is another one of those critical and scary signs that your fluffy friend isn't feeling well at all. Your pet's breathing would be odd because his organs aren't functioning as well as they should be. You might notice that your canine companion's breath has become very slow and sometimes too fast. Other times, it may be normal for a bit and then become labored before returning to normal again. This might be because he is having to put in much more effort to move air in and out. Slowed respiration can also be accompanied by lethargy because your mud has less energy to do the things he likes to do. This is usually caused by respiratory problems and can also indicate other problems such as obesity, heartworms, tumors, or allergies. Muscle twitching. Twitching by itself isn't always a bad sign. Like humans, dogs can twitch for almost no reason, most especially when they are asleep. If you have an old dog, then it's also normal that your fur baby twitches more. The movement is also harmless if it is connected with fireworks, thunderstorms, and for puppies, it can also be a part of their growth and development. It can also be a sign that your pet is in serious pain and needs immediate medical care. Twitching is a problem that in the worst case scenario could cause Fido to lose his balance, or when it lasts for a long period, it can be a signal that your mud is suffering from arthritis, epilepsy, or muscle stiffness. Incontinence. This can be a sign of many health problems, many of which are treatable. For an old dog, it can be a part of their normal aging process. However, if your pet is having accidents and still jumping around and happy, then it's a sign of illness. It's even more annoying if your pooch is house trained and suddenly starts doing his business in the sitting room. This could be because your fluffy friend has kidney disease, bladder stones, or a urinary tract infection. Other times it could be because of bad weather or anxiety. Rather than react aggressively, try to figure out what the reason is and take him to a doctor if necessary. Change in gum color. A dog's tooth gums can also tell you whether the canine is healthy or not. The normal color of a canine's tooth gum is a powdery pink color, which is a sign of a healthy pooch and healthy gums. If your furry friend's gums are pale in color, then it's a sign that your pet has some underlying health problems. Your dog's gum could be of various colors and they all indicate different health challenges. A light red gum signifies that your pet has gingivitis or another oral problem, while yellow gums demonstrate anemia, liver problems, or damage to her red blood cells. And blue or purple gums suggest that your buddy may be suffering from hypothermia, low blood pressure, or heart disease. Take your dog to the vet immediately, as a quick response can make a huge difference in saving her life. Has your dog shown any of these signs in the past? Tell us how you handled it. Till next time, stay safe everyone!